Are you considering condo living? Well, Alana from Escarpment Law Group is here to discuss a few things. Alana, the condo market here in Hamilton seems to be booming right now. So mm -hmm. if I was going to consider buying a condo, what should I keep in mind? Living in a condo can be great, but again, condo living is not for everyone. So if you're going to buy a condo, you need to be aware of some important distinctions between it and say buying a single detached family home. So one of the most important things to remember are that there are going to be condo fees or common expenses that are due every month. So whether you're buying a, say, a townhouse style condo or a condo unit in a high rise, there's going to be condo fees or common element, uh, common expense fees that are due every month and you need to really ensure that you're going to be able to cover the monthly cost of those, plus your daily living expenses, your utilities, and of course your, your mortgage payments. The other thing you want to check into is if there are uh, parking spots and a locker associated with that unit. If there are, it's very important to check to make sure that both the location and the size of those uh, fit your needs. And finally, there are rules that, of course, are associated with living in a condo that, of course, you would not have uh, with a single family detached home. It's important to read those rules to make sure there's nothing with which uh, you don't feel you can live. And typically, you get the rules uh, when you obtain the status certificate of the condominium. A status certificate. You mentioned yes. that just now. And I've heard of that before, but I've been very unclear as to what it means. So can you explain it a little bit more? Absolutely. So the status certificate is a multi-page uh, document. It's prepared by the property management company that operates the, the condominium, and it will cost uh, a buyer about $100 to get. Uh, ideally, your real estate agent will make your uh, agreement uh, to purchase the condo conditional upon you getting the status certificate and then having your lawyer review it with you. Uh, when your lawyer gets it, um, he or she is going to be able to look at the status mm -hmm. certificate and confirm a number of very important things you're going to want to know before firming up on your agreement. So some of the things your lawyer will be able to confirm will be what exactly are the common expenses, what they are per month, um, uh, what the rules are, they will be in the status certificate. Is there proper insurance for the condominium? Uh, is the condominium engaged in any litigation? And finally, and very importantly, uh, how much money is in the reserve fund and if it's healthy. Okay, so a lot of details in the status certificate, obviously yes. a very important document that we need. Okay, now you've mentioned a reserve fund. Now yes. What is that? So a reserve fund uh, has to do with your common expenses, your condo fees you pay every month. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, your condo fees are $250 a month. I'll just use that as an example. Okay. Part of those condo fees would go uh, to the daily operating costs of the condo. So paying the property manager, uh, him or herself, uh, mm -hmm. snow removal, for example. And another portion of the, the condo fees or the common expenses will get siphoned off into uh, a separate account called a reserve fund which is used for uh, major or extraordinary repairs for the condo, for the building, uh, as they come due. Now, uh, sometimes we hear about special assessments. That can also mm -hmm. come up in, uh, in the language or, or in the status certificate itself. Now, a special assessment is uh, language that we, we talk about sometimes with condos, and it does come up from time to time. Uh, a special assessment is needed when um, there is not enough money in the reserve fund to, to pay for the repairs that are needed. If a special assessment is needed, each unit owner is required to pay a lump sum to top up the reserve fund and then to cover the cost of repairs. So there's a lot to consider when it comes to purchasing a condo because condo living, the lifestyle is very different than Absolutely. a single family dwelling. Yes. If somebody would like more information or needs help with the purchase of a condo, where could they contact you? We have four offices uh, through Hamilton, Burlington and Stony Creek. So you can go to escarpmentlaw.com or you can reach out to our Hamilton office at 905-667-2990. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.